Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again, and then, um, let me, uh, go ahead and intro this music real quick. This is gonna be Gulfs of Fathomless Grey, uh, one track for an hour, and this is, uh, this is another one that came from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse, one of my favorite YouTube channels, so, let me go ahead and get her going. I gotta, I gotta do a short sound test on this real quick. That's where that hissing noise is coming from. I'll plug my external speaker. But anyway, um, for today's stream, I thought I'd go ahead and do something different. Um, after not playing this game in about three years, um, Darkest Dungeon, I just totally on a whim. I thought I'd go ahead and fire it up and give it another go. So, another good walk down memory lane. This is my all-time favorite RPG. So, like I said, I I want to say about two, three years ago when I first picked this up, um, I fell in love with it, like, immediately. Um, but, yeah, it's like a... How do I explain it? It's like a four... It's a four-man party RPG. There was like a there was like a more accurate way of saying it. I can't remember what it was. Uh, but in the um, and it's also one of those uh, one of those one of those unique games where uh, where one of the big key features of it is uh, is it emphasizes an inventory management puzzle even though even though I had to use uh, or I would I wouldn't say uh, I used cheats on it as much as um, you can modify the uh, configuration file, I think I had mine set up to where it was uh, to basically double your carrying capacity. Like, for example, if uh, by default, um, carrying, say, carrying gold, you can, I think you have 18, yeah, I think that's what it is, 18 inventory slots. And um, the, max, uh, the maximum amount of gold you can carry in one stack is 1,750. I upped it to 3,500, but anyway, um, but one of the big features, believe it or not, is, is a, it's called an inventory management puzzle. You gotta sit here and, cause your packs are gonna fill up quick, like super quick, and you're gonna have to decide what to keep and what to let go, and, uh, what, and kind of like a lot of other RPGs, once you drop an item, you lose it permanently, you can't, like, pick it up or anything, so, and then, um, and then it's also got, it also has permadeath as well. It, it, it's not like Final Fantasy, it's not like, it's not like a lot of other RPGs out there. Like, when your character dies, you lose them for good. So, so yeah, so, being, um, being properly prepared in this game is very important, as well as, uh, you know, when you're, Again, unlike a lot of uh, again, Final Fantasy comes to mind where you seemingly have a have a infinite infinite inventory slots. You know, unlike that, you got to be real. You basically have to enter a dungeon with a purpose. So you so you pretty much have to have something specific in mind when you when you're doing dungeon runs. Now, again, unless you're me. And uh, who remodded the game to? Now you can you can set. Now there's many different ways you can mod the game, and there are a lot of them out there. I don't care for them. I still want. I just want the original, the original Darkest Dungeon. Like there's a. It's also the only game I can think of where I actually do not want a lot of the DLC in the game. It's like they're trying to improve on perfection. I've said it about some of my favorite uh, music albums out there. Um. I can't think of any bands off the top of my head, but yeah, it's like, it's like their, their very first album is like totally great, but their second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on and so forth, it's like they're trying to improve on perfection. Darkest Dungeon strikes me as that. And they even have a, they, I just remember, they have a second one out. I think, um, I watched a little bit of it on, um, Wooly Versus. It's another channel I check out from time to time, but I, I saw it. I'm glad they got the original voice actor, Wayne June. 
But aside from that, I didn't care for it much. Again, it looked like they're looked too much like they were trying to improve on perfection. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. But yeah, there's um, uh, and uh, Darkest Dungeon did win a lot of awards, um. But yeah, my the reasons why Dark why this game is my favorite RPG are many and varied. But um, but yeah, Permadeath is definitely one of them. Um, like I said a few moments ago, it's not it's unlike games like Final Fantasy, where uh, if your party wipes, you just reload your save file. Can't do that in this game. You lose it. You lose your character. It's gone for good. So. There was also um. And then um, then there's Wayne June as well, the narrator. I I swear to God, man, this video game it had to have made him. It had to have put him on the map. I just, cause, I never even heard of the guy. I just knew that um. I watched a video clip of Wayne. He was at a concert. He's a drummer. Like a drummer in like a jazz band or a blues band or something like that. But after that, I think he does uh, he does audio books. But aside from that, I don't think anybody even knows about him. That was until Darkest Dungeon came out and he did all the narration. But he's popular as hell now. Like, like I said, I think this game made him. So, broke, broke him into the mainstream. And there was another thing about that game. Um, it's practically its calling card. Stress. So, on one end, it's actually a pretty relatable mechanic. I mean, I work in retail. So, you can only imagine the amount of stress that we have to deal with on a daily basis. So, yeah, like I said, excellent mechanic to add into a game. And then on top of that, a lot of the... Um, a lot of the... Oh, what are the, the affliction animations for lack of a better word I actually use a lot of them as emotes or I, I use a lot of them as memes like uh, back before I was even making cast videos um, my only connection to the outside world for lack of a better phrase was uh, posted on posted on the uh, Final Fantasy 14 lodestone blogs but yeah I would make actually make fairly liberal use of them just you know customize them with uh with a M with my MS Paint program, you know, um, happy, sad, bored, really pissed off, that kind of thing. Just you know, make your know, custom Darkest Dungeon emotes. But I would, I would, again, I would make a fairly liberal use of these on my uh, on my blogs, so. though. Something else I was wanting to say, I totally forgot. But yeah, maybe I haven't. Uh, I, these days I only seldom use them. I guess maybe I might have burnt myself out on them. Yeah, it's probably it's one of those things that uh, I keep, or at some point I have it in the back of my mind. Hey, what, maybe wouldn't you know? Maybe when you're making this blog blog post, add this darkest dungeon emote in there. But then I end up totally forgetting at some point. But um, as far as uh, I was thinking, I have been thinking about going ahead and streaming it again tomorrow. But I think it's probably going to be a judgment call. Because the only, the only reason why I'm up, the only reason I'm playing Darkest Dungeon now was just because I'm starting to get burnt on playing Idle Champs all the time. And the reason why I haven't played Darkest Dungeon in a long time is because I'm just so burnt out on it from playing it so much. I don't think I've even um, even beaten the uh, final dungeon. I think I completed like maybe one part of it and just cried uncle and went off to play other stuff. But yeah, I played the shit out of this game. I'm trying to think. There's got to be... There was something else I wanted to say that I really liked about this game. I guess you could probably say the art style as well. And, um... That was it. Um, this is gonna take me a minute or two because I gotta go chase it down.
Come on, Joe. Okay, get in there. No, uh, okay, I caught it. Never mind. I was about to say uh, a wonky image might pop up, but I stopped it in time. And sorry if this bugs the crap out of people, but um, um, when I was um, uh, when I created my um, uh, when I created my way of mercy monk. Uh, for um, D and D fifth edition, it it was it's, it's it basically there is a really strong darkest dungeon aspect to the monk class or this version of it. I mean, for those that don't know, the monk unlike uh, unlike most other editions of D and D, um, this one here there's actually different ways or paths that you can choose. There's like a what was it the the way of the four elements basically. You can um you can do elemental attacks. It's kind of like um that last Airbender, whatever that whatever the name of that show was. You can shoot fire. You can shoot wind and all that. You got that kind of monk. You got um you have like a like a, a necromancer monk. He, um I think he can like he can either he can control or destroy undead that kind of stuff. And then you have the way of mercy monk, which um he's part plague bringer, part monk. He, but like I said, after um. After reading the whole the back the whole background on the way of on a on Mercy Monk, it there was there again there was a really strong darkest dungeon aspect to this monk, which is why I liked it immediately. I mean, I didn't I I didn't have I didn't have this game in mind at the time, but yeah, more and more it's like, hey, this is kind of like a darkest dungeon monk, awesome. So so, but anyway, um. I'll just go ahead and call it good there. I still have some more stuff to talk about. So, um, one other thing. Um, I'm going to kind of rewind back a bit here. Yesterday, I might have talked about it, but yesterday I went ahead and did like a, did like a short, uh, a short gameplay se session of Pinball Arcade since I haven't played it in such a long time. I was kind of missing it. Well, after I, um, uh, after I got... After I uploaded it, uploaded the video, um, one of my regulars came up and told me around the uh, around the 20 minute mark, the the video froze on it. Uh, I took a look at it, or lock. I took a look at it. I'm like, what the hell? And I'm I'm I was thinking it was ob it was uh, probably an OBS issue. Then um, I had just remembered today that um, uh, when I when I edited that video, right after I, right, right after I, it was fully edited and stuff, and it was made official and all that, it's like the whole, it's kind of hard to explain, but the whole part of the, um, the, the film, for lack of a better word, all of a sudden, all the film, the, the part that you can actually edit, all of a sudden, the whole, that whole page was nothing but, um, the yellow caution tri the yellow triangle caution symbols the whole bottom of that uh that video it just changed into that i didn't really think about it at the time um like oh well it's already saved anyway no big deal and then which i'm thinking i'm thinking that part of the that part of the movie was corrupted by windows movie maker so i mean yeah the program is total ass but i can't really use anything else um, or best case scenario, I would I'd practically have to go take a class on it, like the you know, other other video editing software. I, I mean, I I probably have I practically have to take a course in uh, in Vegas Pro. I don't have it, but you kind of get the idea. You know, I'd have to go. I'd have to go take an 
an Adobe Premium course, you know, just to try to figure out how to use the damn thing. That's probably one big upside to Windows Movie Maker. I don't, I don't have to go get a degree in order to figure out how to use this thing. It's all user friendly. So, but anyway, um, now fast forward to today. Um, I actually, I went ahead and did another uh, gameplay session. Uh, just uploaded it, but first, um, I opened it, I opened it with a Windows Media Player. Uh, I actually went through and watched the whole thing to make sure that it wasn't the fault of OBS, and it checked out. The, the video played just, the video, no problems with it, played like normal. So, the only problem I did have uh, during the actual gameplay of it is I had to deal with a lot of input lag. I mean, I was playing with a wireless controller, so uh, a lot of Bluetooth issues, it it does happen. If uh, if I'm playing wireless, there's there's going to be a, a moment's delay in my flips. Which, which has actually cost me balls. I'm going to take another drink here. I'm getting hoarse. But yeah, it, so... So when, any, when anybody's watching it, if you see a lot of... Um, you know, if you see like a, a lot of balls uh, traveling straight down the middle, you know, if it... If it looked like some that you could have reacted to easily, then that that would have been me as well. But again, um, I'm ha I had a uh, Bluetooth issues. Like uh, either either it would eat my inputs, or it would um it would um kind of a hang fire, or it would delay, like like a half second or so. Um, but I guess on the upside of this particular session, my hands didn't hurt. Um, lasted about a, I think it was about a 20, 30 minute session, and my hands weren't hurting afterwards. So, got lucky this time. And I think, um, yeah, just a second. And I think I've said everything I wanted to say about Pinball Arcade. So I'm going to back up a bit. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I went with Darkest Dungeon today. Is um, it's it's hands friendly. I mean, it, it, it's a turn based RPG. So I'm not. So I'm not sitting here just. Not just sitting here just, you know, beating the shit out of my controller, sitting here doing moves and whatnot. You because, know, like I said, Darkest Dungeon is turn-based, so I basically have all the time in the world. So I don't, I don't have to strain my hands as much. So, but anyway, um, but, excuse me. Like I said, for tomorrow's stream, um, there's a chance that it might be Darkest Dungeon again. Or it might be uh, Idle Champs again, I don't know. But I am starting to burn out on, oh, excuse me. I'm starting to burn out on Idle Champs. So, chances are, it might be Darkest Dungeon again. So. Okay, but otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call it good. I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say today. And, ugh, that red line. And once again, for for those that don't for those that don't know, um, the way, the the reason why I have the um, the background set up the way it is is I have to design it so I don't have to Alt Tab between windows. Otherwise, I run the risk of my computer crashing. Yeah, it's that bad. So, but anyway, um, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um. And again, like I've like I've been saying, there's uh, yeah, actually, I'm probably I'm probably gonna do I'm probably gonna do another cast video tomorrow. But like I've been saying for the past few days, there's gonna be a chance that uh, I might I might consolidate my cast videos, like not do one every day, 
Um, the same thing I do with my Final Fantasy XIV blog posts. I used to do them every day, but now I only do them on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, for these cast videos, I might, uh, I might only do like two a week, like Sundays and Tuesdays. So, but anyway, um, yeah, but yeah, most likely I'll probably do one tomorrow, but then, um, next week, I don't know. There's going to be that chance that I'm only going to do it twice a week, like I said. So, but anyway, I'll, I'll, um, I'll probably figure all that out come, uh, come next week. Or I should say, yeah, next Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.